Have you had lunch? I have not got lunch yet. Okay. I don't know how to uh, do the transcript, live transcript. Okay, it's, it's now. Full transcript. I can say transcript. Yeah, it, it is a transcript now. So it saved the money, otherwise we have to pay money for the trans uh, transcription. Okay. How far well have you done? Uh, what did you have for breakfast, Minyi? Uh, I have uh, good morning. I have breakfast, uh, bánh canh. Bánh canh, uh, yes. nước. Okay. What kind, uh, what kind of bánh canh? Uh, what is inside your bánh canh? Mm, uh, I eat uh, um, bún and chả. Chả, what kind of chả? Uh, uh, the uh, include of uh, fish. Uh, How does in, it taste? Um, taste awful, taste good. Uh, it's mang. Mang. Yeah. Okay. Salty. Yeah. I, uh, uh, Afshar is, uh, no. What's your feeling when you eat the bunkan? I think that I I eat uh, I must finish my uh, my food. I don't think uh, bad or not bad. Okay, you are neutral. Okay, what did you have for lunch uh, or breakfast, Tang uh, Phạm? Dear Wednesday, I today in the morning I ate a bread and honey leaf and guana. I I don't know what okay. I'm eating. What kind yeah. of bread did you have? The the bread like cake. Okay, cake. Yeah. Okay. How does it taste? It's sweet because I I like sweet. Okay, you like sweet. You had sweet. Mm. Okay. How many glasses of water did you have from the morning until now, Cẩm Tú? I have uh, until now two glasses of water. Very good. Okay. And and one glass of ice milk coffee. Okay. Very good. So that means you are people progressive. Uh, you are progressive in your mindfulness. You keep learning, control your body uh, day by day. And uh, you know what you do. And later on, you can prevent unwholesome activity. You know, you stop doing it. Mm, you only do the good thing. That's called the Yoniso Manasikara. That means the uh, put the mind in the straight direction leading to the liberation. That's very good. Okay, try doing it mm, continuously. Observing what you do doesn't matter whether it's wholesome or unwholesome. The point is the observation, observation with the mindfulness, okay? Uh, don't pay attention of the nature of the activity, whether it's the wholesome or unwholesome. Just observing what it is, okay, bread, water, I drink, I uh, eat, and I swallow. Uh, okay, Thuy Lin. Okay, how many times you did you go to the toilet from this morning until now? 
How many times did you go to the toilet from the morning when you wake up? At the time you wake up until now, how many times you go to the toilet? How many times have you been to the toilet, Thuy Open your microphone. One time. Okay, once, not one time, once, okay? Once. Okay. Did you have breakfast? Yes, I had. Yes, you had. Okay. What did you have for breakfast? Um, I have bread, bread, fish, fish, and liver. Liver. What kind of liver did you have? Uh, liver of uh, pig. Okay. Pig, pig liver, pork. Okay. Okay. So everybody, how does it taste? How does it taste? The liver. How do you taste the liver? Beo. Fatty. 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 Okay. Uh, try to observe your activity, your daily body activity, because it's, uh, it will be transcribed into the karma. You know, if you don't observe it, the karma is a bad karma and uh, it forces you to become the animal when you die. If you are consciously, mindfully observing your activity, later on you develop the pattern, you avoid the unwholesome activity, you only do the wholesome activity, and uh, at the end you even uh, do everything for the liberation, you know, purification. That's very good. Try to do it frequently, observing your activity, okay? Okay, today we learn, uh, we don't have much time. I promised to you 15 minutes and everybody complained that I take more than 15 minutes. I have only five more minutes, so I have to run, okay? Follow me, please, okay? Now today we are learning about the, the discharging of our duty to, of, to safeguard the eyes consciousness. Because every day we open our eyes from the time we wake up we open our eyes, we immediately come into the contact with the form, the sight, the light, and it attracts to our eyes. We see things around, and what we see is not actually observed by the eyes. The eye can only, only can distinguish three colors, the green, blue, and red, no more, because the light beam have only three color, and our eyes can capture only three color. We explained in a uh, few lessons, past few lessons already. So I don't need to repeat it. The point is, uh, as soon as we open our eyes, we are under stress by the sight, by the light, by the sound, by the smell, okay? So if we are not safeguarding, protecting our eyes, we will indulge ourselves automatically into the sensory pleasure, okay? Either liking or disliking. And that develop the karma. And once you develop the karma, it keeps forcing you to run over and over again, the same activity. So we have to pay attention to our eyes. The lesson today is only focus on the eye. The eye can see only the thing, three color, no more. And it's our consciousness in our brain to interpret what we see, the color, whether the frequency, the degree, a different degree, different frequency, which uh, give you the interpretation for the thing or the matter or the uh, phenomenon exists in front of your eyes. And using the consciousness uh, with the memory, past memory, you actually translate it into the meaningful uh, image. And that meaningful image uh, to you, not to other people, just meaningful to you. 
will be stories in the consciousness. So when you do meditation, it will arise. They all arise. So happy, unhappy, uh, phenomenal, unhappy so circumstances, a happy uh, relationship, whatever. It's just a, a arising in your mind. And only two kinds of the phenomenal arising in your mind. Number one is the image. It stored in the, in the form of image. The second one is stored in the more form of sound. So only sound or image. So when you do meditation, whatever you do in the morning or yesterday, it may come back in your memory and in your consciousness. And you can, you will be surprised to learn that it come up and down again and again. And you have to eliminate that. Just let it go. Let it go. Don't don't get uh, don't get clinging. Don't clinging. Don't get clinging to the image and the sound. The sound, suppose somebody is swearing at you and you feel unhappy. When you do meditation, the unhappiness force you to look at the image again. So it's no good. It disturbs your progress in the meditation. Okay. The surprising thing you may arise is the future image because you anticipate something. Every day you eat, you sleep, you look around by the eye, you catch the picture, you catch a phenomenon, the cow, the dog, the cat, everything. And selectively, your consciousness will pick up something which it like or dislike. It categorizes in your memory. And when you do meditation, Sometimes you surprise, you see the future, but not actually the future. It's your anticipated future. You hope you can get that. Okay. I give you one example. Uh, on the daytime, you don't have the money to buy a house. You rent a house. You have to pay a lump sum of money to pay monthly rent for the house to stay, to allow, to work, to earn the money. And then you are dreaming. When you are working without consciousness, without the mindfulness, you will dream. Dream that you will have enough money to buy the, a house, a small house for you. And that anticipated future image is storage by vibration, by the way of vibration or the energy in your brain, particularly in the right side of your brain because it's emotional. So you develop the pattern of uh, hoping to get something. And that kind of hoping to get something we call anticipated future. It's storage in the right side of your brain. And if you keep developing at that, you lose the left side uh, of your brain because the left side has some connotation with the logic analysis, analysis and the uh, uh, calculation where that a right, right side of the brain is actually have a connection with the emotional uh, reaction to the image to the sound so when you sit for meditation it will arise look like you are seeing your future but no don't be surprised it's not your future at all. You don't uh, have the magic power to see the future, but actually your anticipated future. You hope you can get that future for you. That's wrong. Okay. Deadly wrong. But a lot of people get confused. They thought they attained some magical power, uh, okay, to see the future, but that the anticipated future, not the real, not the real future. Okay. So the process is different between the anticipated future and the real future. Real future is something arise according to your practice of meditation and your metta and your practice of uh, 10 paramis. However, the anticipated future arise according to your desire. Uh, you wish 
and you have a temptation for your future to be. That's totally different. What you wish for may not be what turn out to be. Okay? You uh, can have a dream to be a billionaire. Yes, you can have a dream. That anticipated future. But uh, until you die, you will know how much money you have. Somebody, they die with no, no money at all. But they still dream to have the billion dollars in their pocket. So you have a right to dream. But it's an anticipated future. It's not the reality, uh, realistic future. Realistic future is what you get. In order to get the realistic future, you have to work harder, smarter. <clears throat> you have to coordinate resources everywhere, not just yourself. Nobody can do it yourself, by, by themselves. President of the US, Bill Gates, uh, everybody, they have to coordinate resources from everybody everywhere. And the way they coordinate to set up is they coordinate their brand first. They logically divide their brand and try to push the brand power to the extreme level uh, to get more productive uh, outcome. Okay. We Pante, excuse me. Yes. May I have a question? Yes, go ahead. Um, yeah, the anticipated future arising, uh, is it uh, same or different from imagination when we set up a plan? Uh, no, uh, we, when, we, when you set up the plan, actually you have some figure, some idea about the future, yeah. which you can possibly attend. Anticipated yes. future is some, some future events or some future aspect which you wish to attend, but you don't have the idea how to get it. Okay. Yes. If you have the plan, you will plan your resources, your time, your effort, step by step. And then you can get it or you cannot get it depending on your coordination and your effort. Uh, I give you one example. Say if you want to have uh, one billion uh, dollar, one million dollar, and then you say, okay, you have to open the shop to sell the uh, 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 grocery for the rich people at a high price, or you sell some uh, medical item, uh, beauty medical item to make money. And you actually have the brand, uh, plan. You can coordinate the doctor, uh, rent a place, and get the permission to do it, and make advertising how you do it. That's all the realistic plan. But even the realistic plan, because it's the future, including contingency factor. So the chance may be 50-50, you win, 50, you lose. OK? Yes. However, anticipated future, that means you are just dreaming. You're dreaming that, OK, I will have $1 million, but you just sit down and do nothing. And you keep dreaming some, someday you win lottery. OK, you buy the lottery ticket from the street, and you get the $1 million. It, it's just anticipated future. Like some girl here, they say, OK, I anticipate that when, <coughs> when I retire, uh, I retire, I will have a $1 million. But they just sit down and do nothing. So how can you get $1 million? Even Even if you won the lottery, win, winner, you have to buy the lottery. You have to go out street and pick up the lottery. And you just sit at home. You don't do anything. And you say, OK, hope that somebody will give you one million. It's just impossible unless the, uh, unless you are so powerful magic, magically, OK? Otherwise, it doesn't work. Even the Buddha doesn't work in, for the Buddha as well. He must go around, around to city to city and talk about the Dhamma. So you have to put the effort. The Buddha spent six years in a cave, starving. To put the effort, you have to put the effort. Determined to put the effort to make it happen. So if you put the determined effort, you have the plan, the concrete plan, concrete plan with the detail, uh, how to get the resources, how to coordinate the human resources and the natural resources to trans transcribe 
your paper plan into realistic plan that workable and the chance to win is 50%. Uh, very slow, but still 50% uh, doable. However, we talk about anticip anticipated future. That means someone just dream. I dream. Okay, I hope that when I uh, uh, when I will be about 30, I will have 1 billion Viet uh, US dollar. Yes, they can have a right to dream, but it never happened because they don't put the effort. They don't know how to coordinate resources. You know, all the billionaires, they have the team of 100 people, 200 people, all the experts to coordinate resources from finance, from marketing, from logistics, everything. They, they need the people to coordinate. They have to be friendly with everybody. They know how to be manager. And if you don't know how to coordinate the resources and the people, you just have the anticipated future. You say, okay, uh, when I will be 50, I will have 1 billion, 10 billion US dollars. Yes, you can have a right to dream, but it never eventuate. Okay. That we call anticipated future. Okay. I hope that in the future I will be uh, blah, 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 something. But I never work, I never study, I never learn about management, I don't uh, know anything about technology. And how can you be a billionaire with empty hand? I haven't seen on this planet that kind of person. No, maybe on another planet, I don't know. <laughs> maybe on Mars or on the moon, I don't know. But on this planet, from a 10,000 year until now, the record show, the history record show, no. You have to work harder, smarter. You have to learn everything to make it happen. So you have to, first thing you have to control your body. Because if you control your body and then you know your limit and you try to break the limit to get more, okay? And if you don't know your limit and you're satisfied with what you are and you're just dreaming, you are, are having the anticipated future. Okay. Anything else you want to ask? Yes. yes. Question. What do you think of uh, if I give a loan to complete the test uh, compared to my desire to achieve the test? Can you repeat it again, please? Uh, what do you think if I give a loan to complete the text uh, uh -huh. or my design to achieve the text? <coughs> I'm not sure uh, your question. Your student. Tại vì nếu mà con đưa ra cái mục tiêu để con hoàn thành hoặc là con mong muốn để phải đạt được cái nhiệm vụ đó thì liệu nó có có như nhau không ạ? No, if you want to set up the uh, the goal, you want to set up the goal, you want to achieve, and then you must set up also the plan how to achieve the goal step by step. Say from now you can say okay, now I don't have money. And I'm engaging in the uh, realty, uh, the uh, the land, uh, selling and buying, buying. And then you have to set up the plan, how you coordinate, how you get the information, how you get the people to support you. In the next five years, you have 1 million Vietnam, uh, 1 million uh, US dollar. Yes, you can. Yes, you can do it. You set the goal and then you have to set the plan, how you do it how many people get involved and how you coordinate resources, what you have to do step by step. The first thing, you may be a broker to introduce people to buy the land. But later, if you got some money, you invest in the land. And later, you develop not just buying the land, but you develop something on the plan, like supermarket on the plan. Uh, so step by step, you develop to build up your asset, uh, intellectual asset, including the physical asset. So you can have the a better scenario for your life. You understand? And this achievable to some degree. If you are smart, 
if you are efficient, some people can achieve 70% of their plan. To me, if you achieve 30%, you are so lucky. I do only 30%. In my life, if I achieve 30% of my plan, I win already. Because out of 10 cases, you lose seven. You never win, I can tell you. Even now, up to my experience, I get only three out of seven, uh, three out of 10. The rest seven just fall, falling everywhere, falling apart. But that's a fact. Nobody win. Even the Bill Gates, nine out of 10 fail. Only we, one win, but one win is enough. Okay. One win is enough to cover all the loss. But if you lose 10, and then you get nothing. You lose everything. You understand? Don't dream that you can get 50, 50, 50, 50. You are so lucky. Even my experience, I get only 30%. Out of 10 cases, I win only three. The seven, I lose. Because I, I lose because it, no way you can control resources. So when we talk about the anticipated future, that means the future we wish to have, but it never turned out to be the truth. So only, only we can have the a planned future. Uh, okay, we have to plan, work for that, coordinate resources, learn ourselves to improve our skill, to coordinate all the physical, intangible, human resources, uh, intellectual resources, natural resources, all together to make it happen. You see, to build up a plan, you see uh, uh, every day you travel by airplane, you think it's simple, no. I can tell you one plan build up about more than 100 company, different company. One company only specialize in the wing. So some company uh, specialize in the turbine. Some company uh, specialize in the interior, chair, uh, air condition inside the airplane. So they specialize in that field. So about 100 company getting together to be one airplane. That's what you see. And the one who have a skill to coordinate 100 different company to build up the, uh, the aircraft, they are the big one, okay? It's not easy. If you want to coordinate everything, you have to be slave to all everything, everybody. You have to develop a high degree of tolerance because they always have a different idea, different agenda. So you have to, to be smart enough to control them, okay? To explain to them. They have money, they have the resources. They don't care about you, you see? Like uh, Boeing, Boeing Aircraft Company. They're not just one company. They get the product, different part of their uh, aircraft from 100 different company. Uh, even the laptop, you see the laptop, they say uh, Dell laptop. The Dell company actually buy different part from different company. Apple, they do the same. They buy different part. Screen, they buy from one company. Battery, they buy from another company. Uh, but they know how to put them together, that their skill, okay? But they have to buy everything. They have to coordinate it, to coordinate resources and finance as well. They don't have money. I can tell you Apple don't have money. The Apple company doesn't have money. You think they are billionaire? No, they don't have money. They rely on you. You buy their product. You promise to buy their product and they apply for the loan from the bank and the bank will give them the money so that they make the product. They make the iPhone, iPad, and they sell it to you. You understand? That's the whole game. The skill in coordinating, skill in management need to be learned. It's not easy. Okay, If you are not working hard, you cannot get it. You just say uh, dreaming. You have an anticipated future. It, it can never be eventuated. 
Any more question? We run out of time. I'm sorry. 30 minutes already. Um, okay. Today lesson, today lesson about um, shape broadening the eyes. Yes. yes. So, uh, so I I still uh, want to capture so shape broadening the eyes uh, to uh, and relating to the anticipated futures. Yes. So, um, how how it linked together? Okay, very simple. When you see something and you wish, say you see somebody who have the uh, a big car, and immediately when your eye see it develop in your consciousness, I want that big car. And you see someone they have the private jet, uh, private aircraft, and you say I wish I, uh, I wish I have the a private uh, jet, uh, private aircraft, yeah. and that anticipated future, if you are not planning, if you are not setting the goal, you will never attain it. But if you sit, set a concrete plan with the, all the effort, with the skill, and then you can get to some degree, you can get the same similar outcome. Yes. So the eye, the eye, when you see something, always, the eye always give you the vibration because the, uh, the wave of the beam, light away uh, give you stress stress but if you have a high degree of meditation and then you let it go don't pay attention to that say if you see the car a big car it attract you but then you formulate in your mind how to get to that it's good otherwise you just let it go if you cannot let it go the anticipated future will deteriorate your physical body and mental body because you, you cannot get it, you unhappy. I want the big car and I cannot get it. And you are not happy. I see, thank you, Bante. Okay. And somebody, they are not happy with their current husband and they see another rich man, uh, beautiful, uh, handsome, and they say, I wish I can marry that man better. <laughs> and you are not happy. Uh, to finish, I give you a joke when the, uh, uh, and the president, uh, Obama. Obama took his wife to a restaurant to have a, uh, a dinner. And uh, the, the lady told Obama, you know, darling, and Obama said, what? Uh, you know, this the owner, the man who is the owner of this restaurant, he actually was well, actually my lover before I marry you. She make a joke. She said, before I know you, I know this man, I love this man, but I uh, refuse to marry him. I marry you. You know, uh, Obama said, okay, lucky for you. If you marry uh, this man, you become the restaurant owner. You are not the president wife, the first lady. You know what the uh, uh, lady say? The lady say, no, darling. If I marry him, I make him a president of the USA. Not you, you see? The strong determination. See, if you have the good plan, no matter who you encounter, you can make it happen. So the lady respond very clever. She said, no, darling. If I marry him, I make him the president of the USA, not you. So you see, so it all depends on where the position you take. You are determined to do it with all the effort, with smartness, with the effort, not just dreaming. Uh, Obama said, if you marry him, you become the restaurant owner. You see, really, you know, the, 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 uh, the meaning is insulting. Really insulting a lady, uh, his wife. He said, if you marry him, you become the restaurant owner. Because you marry me, you become the first lady in the US. You think you, you get the implication? And the lady said, no, darling, if I marry him, I make him the president of the US. So you see, it's all depends on your mind here. If you develop the right left side of your brain, you are logical, 
uh, analytical, skillful, and you can do everything you want to do. Okay, you can manipulate the whole team, a thousand people. But if you keep develop the right side of your brand, which is emotional, and then you lose. Like you like the music, you like the games, you like the uh, uh, activity, uh, dreaming. Uh, you don't develop the logical, analytical, and calculative measurement in your left side of your brand, you lose. So all the big guys, they always develop the left side, okay? Like the lady, the first lady, she said, if I marry him, I make him a president already. So you see, that, that the whole thing. Okay, somebody say, pray, we finish here. You understand, Minyi? I see you laughing. Don't tell your husband that. Okay. Okay, shall we pray? Helen, welcome to. Please say the prayer. We could finish it. Yeah. May all the merit cultivated from this Dharma learning will be shared to all beings, to all vast reality who have died. May all this merit be shared to all beings for them to know the Dharma, to meet the Dharma in the future, and to be liberated, liberated from our suffering now and future. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, sadhu. be happy. Remember, safeguard your eyes because your eye always see something. So, Thank you, Bante. Okay. Thank and you, the, Bante. what you see will disturb you. No matter whether you enjoy it or you don't enjoy it, you're happy or you're unhappy, it always disturbs you. It comes into your consciousness and disturbs your meditation very much. Okay. So try not to see too many things. If only see the thing you need, don't see everything you don't need. Okay. <laughs> That's very sensible. Okay, have a good time. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day.